Long hair sucks. Use this video as a precaution if you decide to grow out your hair. Trust me, you may not want to grow out your hair after this video. Now let me introduce you to the three horsemen of why long hair can suck. We have maintenance, the shed, and my favorite, the consequences of long hair. Anyway, let's get into our first horseman, maintenance. Maintenance haircuts are mandatory. These are the foundation, the building blocks of having great, luscious, voluminous, long hair. You really do need to get maintenance cuts every few months due to your hair becoming more flat and losing volume, which is due to the weight of the long hair. If you have thick hair, maintenance cuts are a need after a few months. But if you're on the thin side of hair, you probably can get away with it for longer. Now, in order to actually achieve this kind of hairstyle that I, I actually do have, I do have a styling video about that specifically. If you want to go watch that, I might remake it at some point because there are definitely some more tips that I can give you. But the thing is, it's a long time. It's a long process. I'm sitting in my restroom, just fiddling with my hair and really trying to work in the product and also not weigh my hair down. Because if you don't have a good cut, your hair is going to be weighed down and it's gonna to be too heavy. Now for me, I have really thick hair. I don't have a lot of hair, I just have really thick hair, so the hair strands weigh a lot. And my hair won't be as voluminous as it would be if it was, you know, shorter. Now with a good maintenance cut, if you go in with a layered cut, which typically is needed most of the time because your hair does grow out, is with layering, it allows your hair to have some type of movement and also lets it fall back on itself. Without any layering in your hair, your hair will be flat, ugly, and disgusting. And you also have to get your hair textured, which is a really big, important thing too as well. But with these maintenance cuts, you typically need to go in uh, like every three months, something like that, three to four months. I haven't gotten a haircut in six months. This is how my hair looks naturally, as I only put some hairstyling product in it, but it's pretty much dried like this. But the thing is, it could be better. It could look more awesome. And if I really did choose to continue to grow out my hair, I probably should have gotten a maintenance cut within that three month span or maybe four months because I think anything after that's really pushing it, especially for my hair type, because it is so thick. It would have helped tremendously with styling and working with it because your hair is really unruly when it's really long and it has a mind of its own. So styling it gets easier when you get that maintenance cut and getting it layered and textured also just helps with the overall body, the wave, and just the overall flow is what they call it. Now, if you think maintenance cuts will run your pockets like a thief in Skyrim, you're wrong. All right, hand over your valuables or I'll gut you like a fish. You'll be constantly running out of conditioner and overall hair products. Long hair requires more maintenance due to it being a lot longer, which anyone with eyes knows that. Now, the main thing to mention here is that more conditioner is going to be used to fully cover the long strands of hair, which means your conditioner bottle is going to be used and abused. That poor thing never had a chance. And I go through a lot of conditioner within a month span because I do co-wash my hair often and most people shower every day. After the gym, after a sweaty long day of having swamp from the summer. Like I gotta shower all the time because I'm sweating. This long hair only accumulates a lot of heat during the summer. So I'm using a lot of conditioner to cover all the surface area of having all this hair on my head compared to someone who has shorter hair. And that's one of the biggest nuisances is that you're going to be spending a lot of money on rebuying conditioner or getting the bigger bottles of conditioner depending on what type of conditioner you get. I typically try and ball out on getting the best type of conditioner for my hair specifically. So it's going to be costing me pretty penny. The maintenance on longer hair is a lot more compared to having shorter hair. Since with shorter hair, it's usually low maintenance and it's pretty easy to just get away with, you know, a very smidge of conditioner because you're not really conditioning that much. Like I have so much hair, it's terrible. It still looks cool though. Now there's just products in the shower and I haven't even gotten into the styling products. You most likely will use double if not triple of what you typically use for short hair with your styling products. There's definitely a sweet spot of how much product you need but you shouldn't use too much product due to the fact that it will weigh down the hair. It really is a learning curve to figure out how much more you need with longer hair since some people like styling it with more volume but it's really all about the haircut since that's the main foundation. Now of course everyone has different hair types as for me I do have some curls on the back of my hair for some reason but I do have to take care and maintain these curls by using styling products like hair oils and hair milks, I like to call them. I think they're milks, I'm not entirely sure, but I put that in my hair so that it doesn't get frizzy because the thing with curly hair is it will get frizzy and it will not, which sucks. And you heard that right. Our hair actually does not. But why exactly does this happen? So let's ask Google. Google, why does our hair not?
JQ maybe it's because your hair sucks and it's just so long and you probably need to get a haircut loser. Now clearly there's a lot of different ways to actually get your hair knotted. And brushing is one of the biggest things that you need to do all the time. Now this is a tip for just normal hair care just in general is that you need to brush your hair. Obviously, I think that's a pretty no-brainer, but with longer hair, it's really neat. You need to brush it all the time or else your hair will not. And the nasty thing about hair with long hair is that it gets intertwined in your hairbrushes, which you do then need to actually wash and clean your hairbrushes off because the thing is your, your hair will actually get stuck into those hairbrushes and you need to take it out, pick it out, whatever. Clean it with some dish soap or like with some more modern dish soap, like usually Dawn, and let it sit there for a few minutes and then completely get it out. Because the thing is with long hair, you might be experiencing a lot of grease. And it actually might be because you're brushing your hair with old greasy hair that's stuck in your brush. It's disgusting. Go clean that out. If you don't know that already, go do it. You need to do at least twice a month. So like every two weeks, that right? Every two weeks or every week, depending on how much your hair gets stuck on it, because you're rebrushing with old hair strands that have oils in it. Because obviously you do shampoo your hair within the week or within the month or whatever. And you know, your new unoily hair is getting brushed in with your old nasty hair strands that are on that brush. Wash your brushes, it's disgusting. If you didn't know that, now you know, so remember to do that. Now I know a lot of men worry about balding. It's the scariest thing that any guy can actually endure. It's mentally taxing, emotionally draining, and it damages your overall just confidence. But the thing is, we do naturally shed hair strands. It's about 50 to 100 hair strands a day, which is very natural, so don't freak out if you wake up and there's hair strands on your bed, your pillow, the floor, in your food, in your face, in the shower, it's normal. Now, usually it's really abnormal if there's a lot of hair strands, like bunches, clumps of hair coming out of your hair, that's a problem. But if it's just a few hair strands, you know, maybe you shed 50 within the shower because obviously when you're showering, you're going to loosen up your hair and it's in the water so it will come out, which is quite normal, or brushing just in general. But it's really normal, but it's annoying. Now, continuing into my complaint of having the shed with longer hair is that you will notice it a lot more because when you're in the shower, it kind of, you know, entangles and tangles up and it forms a ball usually, or it's just splattered all over your uh, your bathroom shower. It's pretty gross. And you always just, for some reason, notice it, especially on the floor or it attached to my friend's clothes and they find my hair in their clothes. You know, I mean, we're close like that, but it's kind of nasty. Sometimes it falls out when I'm eating food and it's in my food or it for some reason just appears in my food. Maybe it's the restaurant, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's mine because I have really long curly black hair and I kind of know it's my hair. And it becomes a lot more apparent when you're cleaning. So if you're cleaning your room, which I hope most people do, you'll see it on the floor. It sucks. You're cleaning up a part of yourself off the floor. You know, each hair strand holds some type of history. It probably went through a lot with you. But when you have shorter hair, it's a little nicer because I mean, you might not really notice it being on the ground because it's not large strands of, uh, of hair because it just covers a lot more surface area on the floor and it's a lot more noticeable since it's long, but you do still shed your shorter hair, but it won't clog your drain because a lot of the times since you do shed in the shower most often, it will clog your drains. So you have to get one of these tools called, uh, what are they called? I don't know, it's called this weasel rod thing. I don't know, you shove it into your, your shower drain and then you pluck out all this hair that comes out of it and it's most likely yours. So it's gonna be a bunch of just your hair, your hair product, your conditioners just like wrapped up in this smelly ball of depressing looking hair. It's nasty. Now let's move forward to consequences of having long hair. I'm not sure if this is a me thing, but I fixate crazy on my hair since it defines my look. And if that look isn't perfect, I don't feel at full power, if you know what I mean. Never knowing if your hair transformed from a simple blow of wind causes one to constantly fixate and reshape their hair, which I do almost all the time. I think it's like a, a character trait of mine that a lot of people recognize, especially when meeting me or being with me. I always fix my hair. 
especially when it's really long, I'll just be playing with it almost like every few minutes. I might look normal on camera, but it, it I, to me, it's, I'm thinking it's like out of place. It's a weird fixation of mine, and I think a lot of people deal with it with longer hair just because it gets in your face often, gets in your mouth, and you're chewing on your long hair. It's disgusting. But for me, I gotta, I gotta like, I gotta comb it. You probably have seen me comb it throughout this video, like within me talking, I probably combed it. Trust me, I comb it often. You'll notice it in almost all my videos. It's just one of my quirks that I have that I just always comb my hair. I do it often. Now, the super interesting thing is controlled environments. My hair looks amazing now, and I'm able to like visually see it on the camera, even at being at home just in general, but as soon as I leave the door, there's wind, humidity, sweating, like all these things attribute to my hair losing the flow, and even your hair. It might lose its shape. It probably will, most likely, because the wind blowing in your hair ruins the shape. It probably will not your hair as well, and it ultimately transforms the style that you originally had before you walked out, and I think we've all struggled with this. Once you open up your like front camera and you see what's staring back at you, it's horrible. And it makes you definitely lose a few bars of health. I just, I, I cannot do it. Sometimes I'm like outside and it's so humid right now in New York City right now, and it's very windy and my hair just flies everywhere. It goes in my face, my eyes, makes me super mad. Call me insecure, but if you haven't fixated on your hair like I do, then you're not really living life to the fullest. Believe me. Wow, one of the other consequences is actually getting acne. Now this is something that I don't know if people have thought of before or people have, I'm assuming most people have really big brains, but the thing is you get acne. So whatever my hair is touching like on my face, as you can see, it touches like my, my cheek here, I do break out. And as you see, I am breaking out actually currently. And the thing is too, people with curtain bangs, they will usually break out, get blackheads and stuff here. And it's because of the natural oils that you know, travel down your long hair. Because anything that this hair is touching, it will cause breakouts just because of the oils in your hair. I mean, obviously most people aren't shampooing every day, which you shouldn't be doing. If you're watching this video, do not shampoo your hair every day. You gotta give your hair a break because natural oils are really good for your hair and your scalp. But obviously over time, you should be washing out your hair. But that's a video for me to do on another hair care video that I plan on doing at some point. But nonetheless, having long hair, you do also acquire acne with it. And although it looks super cool, it does touch your skin all the time. And like I mentioned, those hair oils are really gonna go into your, your skin and it's gonna cause breakouts. So that's something to think about. Now, the other thing that I do wanna mention is when you're on that nasty pillow of yours that you sleep on, like I am now, the longer the hair you have, obviously this is gonna be all over my pillow, that means the surface area of this pillow has now absorbed all my natural oils from my scalp. I mean, the dirty bench you sat on that your hair touched, the dirty subway seats that your, your hair might have like also touched, the back of it, all these things are in your hair. And if you don't shower immediately when you get home, it's like sitting on your bed with outside clothes. It's kind of gross, but Nonetheless, the pillow absorbs all these oils and now you're rubbing your face all over these oils, which obviously will cause acne and that's not cool. So that's also another way that your hair kind of works against you. It's preying on your downfall. It's making you look a little less put together because I hate acne. Acne's normal, but acne sucks and your pillows might be causing your acne. So you probably should be washing your pillows if you don't do it already, your pillowcases once a week. Now to really solidify the idea that I hate long hair, I'm gonna go get a haircut today. And you might be asking, why exactly are you getting a haircut? It's because I hate the long hair, dog. I need to cut it off. I'm tired of it. It's clogging my drains, being in my face, causing acne. What more do I have to say? Let's go get that haircut. I also got sidetracked when I was going over to the uh, haircut. I was checking out the planet aquariums in this little aquarium thing, it was really nice. Uh, side note, I actually have a, I'm a hobbyist in planted aquariums. Aquascaping, super cool. Dude, the front's looking like it needs some help. <laughs> I just need time to style this, but wow. 
What are you wearing? This turtleneck is Proenza Schuler. Necklaces from the vintage store I used to work at. Vintage men's extra large sweater. I like it. The seams are inside out. Vintage skirt from Japan. Japanese eBay. Uh, shoes are from Nordstrom Rack. And then just circle bag. Leather circle bag. And then vintage rings. Very cool outfit. Tank top, windbreaker, big pants, Rick Owens. Haitian Zero bag. Do I look more like him now? Yeah, you do. That's good. That's that's so gas. Oh yeah, and then this chain, because I I carry my my wallet. Oh, and the rings. Parts of four. That's Teresa's ring that she made me, and then Mark Boudelaire, and then Bug Bite. Okay, rate rate the outfit. Um, I think you look like a K-pop star. Off-duty K-pop star, ready for the rain. Let's go get food now. Also, I don't think anyone will recognize me until I put out this video because I'm pretty noticed for my long hair, but now I have short hair, so I'm free. No one will ever notice me at all. I look like a little boy though. And I'm back home. Uh, I showered, restyled my hair. This is kind of how it looks. I was trying to go for this kind of haircut um, and get bangs, but I don't think my hair will allow me to get bangs. And I think that's just the reality of it just because of my hair texture and the curl pattern or whatever. So it always wants to part. I did post a fake picture of myself when I was 18 on Instagram. And this is what everyone had to say about my my new haircut that I, that I lied about, because I lied to everybody. But uh, this is actually how my hair is, and no, I did not cut it off at all. It's still here, nice and long still. Um, not really what I was trying to get. To me, it looks very 60s mom, I think. But it, it will grow back out again at some point. I do have the uh, sides quite long, as you can see, and the back is also cut very short. The other cool thing I can do is, you know, put it behind my ears, and then it just looks like I got a mullet. Anyway, why did I cut off all the luscious locks that I had? The thing that I'm known for, my personality, as some would say, and the main reason was I was tired of having long hair, and the second thing was we hit 100,000 on YouTube, and that was the goal of mine to hit that milestone and then cut my hair off. Now hear me out. I wanted to cut off the back fully because then with every video that I make, we can see the growth of my hair and the length and I'll continue to grow it out until some other milestone where I might cut it all off again or just cut it shorter. But I think it would be more interesting to kind of like journey along with each new video that I make out and just see how my hair grows and how I continue to style it moving forward. I probably will make a video about how I style like the shorter hair with blow drying techniques and also just certain styling techniques you can use as well with hair brushes or just air drying in general. Cause there's a lot of things you can do with short hair with pomades and also clays and stuff of that sort because you get a lot more volume, a lot more control over your hair and um, there's a lot of texture on this bad boy, like, that's crazy texture. I don't know if you can see that. My hair is very voluminous and there is no way I could get bangs at all. So that's something I'll talk about at some point where you can't necessarily get certain hairstyles because your hair won't allow you to do that because it won't sit like that naturally on your head. As for myself, it I cannot get bangs because it just parts regardless of what I do. I like, I think in the video it did show that like, I kind of did have bangs when I first got my hair cut, um, as you can see, but the thing is like, the the bangs don't work. Like, my hair still parts and it, it just looks stupid. So I don't think bangs were made for me and that's okay. And I'm not, I'm not necessarily mad about that, but I do like how it came out and I would be really excited on how it grows. But anyway, I'd like to give a huge thanks to everybody who subscribed to me and it's been quite a journey, you know? I moved recently, as you can see, this is my new room. At some point I will do like a house apartment tour. I moved into the, the city of Brooklyn. I ended up finding a place, um, but nonetheless, I'd like to just thank everyone who continued to support me 
on Patreon, all those members over there, thank you so much. And also just anyone that subscribes and watches my videos, you're also supporting me as well. And I can't thank you guys enough. I mean, even hitting 100K is kind of nuts in a 10 month span because that's when I was like actually posting more consistently. So that's pretty nuts uh, of an achievement. Um, and I'm very happy. Uh, I don't know if you can tell in this video that I'm a lot less stressed out from how I was when I was out in stupid middle of nowhere. But life continues and I'm hoping we do more interesting videos pretty soon. I have a few videos in mind that I actually am going to then start after this video when I put this out. But cutting my hair was kind of a big thing and it was just like a plan that I wanted to, to achieve. And I am telling you the long hair was pissing me off. I, I cannot tell you enough of how long and annoying it was. I, it, it's so freeing to have short hair now. Uh, yeah, let me know if you like my new haircut in the comment section below. And if you have any other ideas for any hair videos that you'd like me to make since I have shorter hair now, uh, leave them down in the comment section below. And I might make a video about that. But nonetheless, I'll see you in the next one later.